The Kraft Foods Company presents Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. The Great Gildersleeve is brought to you, transcribed by the Kraft Foods Company. Kraft, makers of the one and only Miracle Whip salad dressing. We say one and only because there just isn't any other salad dressing like Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip is different, and it tastes different. Miracle Whip tastes so good, it's become the most popular salad dressing ever created. More Miracle Whip is sold than the next 20 leading brands of salad dressing combined. Try it. Make your salad better tasting with the one and only Miracle Whip. Another sweltering summer day is hanging over Summerfield. But that doesn't mean business isn't progressing as usual at the water department. The great Gildersleeve secretary is on vacation, but his nephew Leroy is helping out. And the great man himself is at his desk. In fact, he's practically on it. Am I disturbing you, Unc? Uh, you no, know, Leroy. Come right in. The mayor's office called and wondered if you had the vacation schedule made out for this office. Oh, yes, must do that. My secretary neglected to before she left. Hey, you've got your feet propped on your desk. Well? Do they hurt? No, they feel fine. But when summer comes, there's nothing like getting the feet higher than the head. <laughs> yeah, I think that has something to do with nature. Yeah? What are you reading? Studying, my boy. Hydraulics and water pressure. <laughs> it was such a nice day, I... Hardly know what I've been reading. I know what you've been reading. Baseball. What? That little book inside the big book is showing. It, oh. <laughs> well, walking down this morning, I saw it in the newsstand. And... Don't apologize. It's okay. I found a love story magazine inside your secretary's dictation pad. See? <laughs> that girl. We can't run a water department that way. What would the mayor think? But you. Oh, I'm the water commissioner. If there's a love story magazine around this office, you'd better turn it over to me. Okay, okay. It's silly stuff anyway. Yeah. Now, let's get back to work. Sure. Look who's talking. What a magazine. Love Digest. Yeah, I should throw it in the wastebasket. Hey. Nice cover. <laughs> Bathing suits certainly have changed. In the last month, even. Yeah, I don't know how they do it. Well, Gildersleeve. Hello. I wonder if I shouldn't go to the sea. Oh, hello, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> Come in. Gildersleeve, what are you doing with your feet on the desk? Yeah, yeah, those are my feet. And what are you reading? <laughs> you, I, uh, I'm reading this book on hydraulics and water pressure. See? I see. What are those magazines you have inside the book? The, the, the magazines? Baseball. Yeah, well. And what's this? Love Digest. <laughs> I came in here to talk about your vacation schedule, but perhaps the vacation you need is a permanent one. Huh? Think it over, Gildersleeve, and I'll take these magazines. Yeah, but you never get your reports in on time, and now I catch you reading. I never saw an office run in such a slipshod banner. Now, Mr. Mayor, I run a very strict office. That's hard to believe. Good day. Yeah, oh, Mr. Mayor. Yes? Can I have the Love Digest back after 5 o'clock? What? It belongs to my secretary. Fine coffee this morning, Bertie. Thank you, sir. I wish I could say that for the prunes. Eat them, Leroy. When are you going to take the rest of your vacation this year, Miss Gilsey? Your vacation? Yes, sir. Well, Bertie, the mayor was in talking about that yesterday. Hey, I left when he came in the office. When's he giving you yours, Unc? Well, he nearly gave it to me yesterday. <laughs> but we didn't quite complete our discussion. Let's take our vacation late. Just about the time school starts. <laughs> Let's rent that cabin up in the mountains again, huh? Why not go to some nice resort where a fellow can meet some interesting people? Yeah, girls. Your uncle wants to go to the seashore, Leroy. Your uncle wants to go where he can frolic on the beach with a peach. <laughs> <laughs> now, Bertie... No, sir. Mr. Gillsleeve don't want no mountains. He 
he's gone to the seashore where he's probably going to beach with a peach. Yeah, all right. Maybe he'll think you know where you want to take your vacation. Yes, Bruce. Yes, that you want to probably go to the beach with a peach. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Bertie has a refreshing slant on it anyway. I don't like it. What's wrong with the seashore? While you're on the beach with a peach, I'll be in the dining room with a prune. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Never mind, Bertie, I'll get it. It's probably for me, Bertie, I'll get it. I'm here. Be glad to get it. Never mind, I'll get it. I came in here all the way from the kitchen. Might as well get it. Well, I got up. I might as well get it. Glad to get it. <laughs> Thanks, Bertie. Oh, for corn's sake, I'll get it. <laughs> Sit down, Leroy. Anybody at home? Oh, hello, Judge. Good evening, all. Hi. I rang the bell twice, but nobody answered. Evening, Judge. Evening. Would have been glad to get it. <laughs> yes. Let's go in the living room, Judge. I'd like to have a word with you, Gildy, in your private study. What? Excuse us, Leroy. Sure. What's in your craw now, Judge? You'll find out soon enough. We'd better sit down. Well, Judge. And close the door. Oh, my goodness. There. That satisfy you? You want me to plug up the keyhole? <laughs> Gildy, the mayor is threatening to take your job away from you. Oh, is that why you call me in here, Judge? The mayor is always threatening me. This time it's serious. I happen to know that you're top man on the mayor's must list. Must? Must go. Oh. <laughs> Where'd you hear that? Well, my secretary always has lunch with the tax collector secretary who always has breakfast with the mayor's secretary. And the mayor's secretary told the tax collector secretary... Who All was right, to... Judge. What did she say? Just what I told you. And if the mayor catches you neglecting your duties once more, out you go. Just let him try it. I'll tell him a thing or two. I've been waiting to do it for quite a while. Now, Gildy, you can't afford to take that attitude. You have a little family to think of, you know. I'll... Oh, yes. And if you apply yourself, work at your job, who knows? Why, do you know the commissioner of public works got a $20 raise last month? He did? Turn over a new leaf, Gildy, before it's too late. By George, I'll do it. And may I be the first to congratulate you. Okay, then let's open the door. It's getting a little stuffy in here. And I assure you that the matter will be attended to immediately. Yours for service to Summerfield, Rock Morton P. Gildersleeve, Water Commissioner. Uh, George Leroy, there's a well-written letter if I did write it. Straight to the point. What's the point? Hey. Oh. <laughs> Get that in the mail right away. Okay. Well, I start on something else. Ah, oh, you're a regular whirlwind today. It just shows what you can do when you apply yourself, Leroy. You see? I've cleared nearly everything off my desk. Hey, I didn't know your desk had a glass top. <laughs> Get that letter in the mail. I'm going to do some reading. Shall I bring you the Love Digest? No. I'm going to read this book on hydraulics. It, yeah. Well, don't stand there with your mouth open, young man. Get the letter out. Okay. The man starts taking a job seriously, and everybody stands around staring at him. Hello, Leroy. Hi, Miss Kelly. Mr. Gildersleeve in? Well, May. Oh, there you are. Yeah, here I am. <laughs> you look so busy and important this morning. Yes, a lot to do. Oh, well, you just stop that silly work and come along with me to Hogan Brothers. Why should I go to Hogan Brothers? Oh, been so warm lately. I'm going to get a new summer play suit. Play suit? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> and I want you to help me pick it out. Well, I don't think I should leave the office to help you pick out a summer play suit. Why not? We'll be playing together. <laughs> <laughs> Won't we? You, well, I'll try to budget some time for that. <laughs> but I'm pretty busy right now running the water department. Why do you have to stay around here? All you have to do is sit while people turn it on and off. There's more to it than that, May. 
I'm the executive around here. I do the thinking. I'm always studying ways to make the department better. See? I've got a book here. Hydraulics. What's hydraulics? Well, that's the stuff that water commissioners have to find out. <laughs> oh, you are busy. Well, I guess I'll just run along then. Yes, yeah, nice of you to drop in, May. Sorry, I'm so busy. Oh, Rock Morton. Which do you think I should get? A one or two piece play suit? A one or two. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I should go with you. No. By George, I'll stay on the job. May, get out of here. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. But remember. All work and no play makes Throckmorton a dull boy. Well, that's the penalty for buckling down. Yeah. Hydraulics. Chapter one. A one piece or a two piece? Hydraulics. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, that's a good place to start. Hydraulics is that branch of science which treats of water or other fluids in motion. Good morning, Gildersleeve. Now, about these vacation schedules... Oh, hello, hello, Mr. Mayor. Gildersleeve, what are you doing with your feet on the desk again? Oh, they back up there? And still reading during office hours. I warned you, if I ever caught you loafing on the job again... But, Mr. Mayor, I'm studying. That's what you said yesterday. Love and baseball. But, Mr. Mayor, this time... This time, Gildersleeve, you're fired. See? I'm sorry, but you asked for it. Good day. He's sorry. I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> the Greg Gildersleeve will be back in just a minute. Ever entertain buffet style? It's fun, isn't it? Fun for the guests and fun for you, too. Part of the fun is setting a beautiful table and finding attractive new settings for your food. If you're serving coleslaw for the salad part of your meal, here's an idea. Give your coleslaw more eye appeal by using both red and white cabbage. This looks wonderful and tastes even better. And remember, this grand two-tone coleslaw will be extra good, made with Miracle Whip salad dressing. Miracle Whip gives coleslaw such marvelous flavor. A flavor that's lively, teasing, just sharp enough. And it's a flavor you won't find in any other salad dressing. Because Miracle Whip is unique. It's made from a secret craft recipe that combines the best qualities of zesty, old-fashioned boiled dressing and fine, rich mayonnaise. And Miracle Whip has a perfect texture. Creamy, thick, and smooth as satin. Because it's blended carefully with a special craft beater. No wonder millions prefer it. Smooth and delicious, Miracle Whip has become the most popular salad dressing ever created and actually outsells the next 20 leading brands of salad dressing combined. Make all your salads taste better with America's favorite salad dressing, Miracle Whip. get back to the great Gildersleeve. Our overstuffed Humpty Dumpty has had a great fall. <laughs> and doesn't quite know how to put himself together again. Now what, little man? Oop. Light in May's window. No. There's a jolly boy meeting tonight. I hate to go up there. But you need a sprinkle. Water. And I'm not the commissioner. Gentlemen, now that everybody's here that's going to be here, I'd like to have the floor, if I may. We can't start a meeting of the Jolly Boys before the Water Commission gets here, can we, Peavy? No, no, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> and according to Robin's rules of order. Oh, well, let's get going. The commission's slower than the water he pipes into my shop. Now, wait a minute, Floyd. I'm sure you wouldn't speak of our absent member in this manner if you knew the sad tidings that I bring. Something wrong, Judge? Gentlemen, our fellow jolly boy is no longer with the city. He ain't. He's been fired. You don't say. The commission... <laughs> the 
Your mish got the axe. Gosh, I'm sorry I opened my big fat mouth. Yes, gentlemen, a most grievous occurrence. Well, Mr. Gildersleeve was in the pharmacy only yesterday. Listen, just as natural. Of course, a fence post could have seen it coming. He wasn't the world's best water commissioner. Be that as it may, I happen to know that when the blow fell, Gildy was reading a book on hydraulics trying to improve himself. I personally called upon the mayor pleading for reason. But he said it was the mark of a weak executive to retract orders. Well, that sounds a little unreasonable of the mayor to me. Well, that's my news, gentlemen. Now, what can we jolly boys do for our friend Gildersleeve? He's a sad and broken man. Well, the mayor kicked the commission out of office. Let's kick him out. You pushy mayor. We pay his salary, don't we? We got a right to kick him around. Floyd, are you suggesting recall? No, I'm suggesting we kick him out. <laughs> He lowered the boom on the commish, we lower the boom on him. Right, Peavy? Well, that seems to be the way of the world. <laughs> hey, I think I heard the door. You did? Yeah. I thought Gildy felt so blue he wouldn't be down. That's the commish's tread, all right. Well, let's not just be standing here when he comes up. Let's all try to be gay for Gildy. Yeah, let's sing a song. Yeah, that only make him laugh. There is a tavern in the town. Let's pretend we heard a funny joke and laugh. But I haven't heard a funny joke. <laughs> laugh anyway. Come on. <laughs> hey. Well, I'll be... He ain't coming up. He's going back out into the rain. That's too bad. Poor fellow. Maybe we sounded too happy. Maybe he thought we were laughing at him. Poor Gilday. Gentlemen, I think we should seriously consider a petition for the mayor's recall. His honor has been unreasonable and dilatory in public affairs before, and there are a few little slip-ups that won't look good for him on a petition. Hot dog. You write up the stuff, Judge, and I'll sign it first. Now, just a minute, Brian. Judge, if you don't mind, I'd like to be the first to sign that petition. We'll all sign it, gentlemen. But remember, not a word about it to Gildy. all day again. Well, I don't feel like going downtown, my boy. Besides, I've been busy reading want ads, making phone calls. Have you answered Mr. Peavy's call or Mr. Munson's? Well, no, I can't face those fellows. Probably all over town, it's your old uncle that faced her. You're not a failure, Unc. Yes, I am. I failed you, Bertie. We'll manage. And I have a wonderful idea. Instead of running off somewhere, why don't we spend our vacation right here? No, my boy. Sure. And I know another way to save money, Unc. I'll go barefoot it all summer. <laughs> and I'll make things set in the kitchen. No, no, Bertie. I'll find something else. They can't keep a good man... Well, a man down. You should have your job back. The man was wrong, and you know it. The judge came over and told us you were right. Well, I was on the job when he... Sure, Unc. Why did you let the mayor fire you? If I was a man, I'd go down and tell him off. No, Leroy. I'll go down and tell him anyway. And run. <laughs> <laughs> Leroy, I don't need you to fight my battle. You're not big enough. Well, why don't you dress up and go downtown? Just as if nothing had ever happened. I'd even go with you. I'm not ashamed. Go on, Mr. Gillsleeve. When you go down the street, people will point at you and say, there goes the best water commissioner this town ever had. He's right. Well... Sure, everybody's on your side, huh? Yeah, I, I might go downtown at that. That's good news. I'll brush up your new suit, Mr. Gilsey. No use being right unless we tell people about it. My little family. I feel better already. This is Floydy. Did you get them new neighbors to sign the recall petition? They wouldn't. No kidding. Oh, hi, Commish. Hello, Floyd. Hey, within a minute, Commish. Hey, look, Luffy, I can't talk anymore right now, but you tell them you won't babysit for them anymore if they don't sign. 
If that don't get him, tell him we'll start arguing nights with the windows open. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, doll. Who is that for? My wife, Lovey. I and she are trying to get a favor out of a neighbor. Hey, it's good to see you cracked out of your shell, Kamish. We missed you at the Jolly Boys Club the other night. Well, I started up there, but other pressing matters came up. Yeah, I know. How about a shave and a haircut? Well, that's what I came down for, Floyd. Sure. Hop up into the chair. Yeah. And until the silver lining shows through, Commission, the shave and the haircut's on me. No, Floyd, things aren't that bad. Has the mayor contacted you yet? No, why should he? Oh, nothing. But you ain't got no reason at all to be afraid of the mayor. Well, of course I haven't. I've never been afraid of him. That's the stuff. What a scheming politician. Always has his barber and done up the street. Just because it's a three-vote shop. <laughs> yes, well, that's the mayor, all right. Commissioner, he done you wrong. And if I was you, I'd tell him off. Don't you worry, Floyd. I will, the next time I see him. I've been sitting at home thinking up a lot of things to tell him. Add up, boy. High time we got a new mayor anyway, or put a good scare into this one. We'll have his relatives jumping out of City Hall like it was a sinking ship. <laughs> And let me let you in on something. Most people think they can't hit a city official. You can hit him the same as you can hit a plumber. Hmm, I never thought of that. Now, look, I think if you come into the guy at a slight crowd... Now, now, Floyd, I, I know how to take care of myself. Maybe you, you fix for the right, then you hit him... He's been awful blue. No, I can understand that, Leroy. We finally got him to go downtown, so if he drops in at the drugstore, I wish you'd do what you can to cheer him up. No, I'd be happy to. Thanks, Mr. Peavy. You're a swell. <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> Goodbye. Fine boy, Leroy. Now, what do I do to cheer up that uncle again? Hello, Peavy. Yeah, hello, Mr. Jonas B. Haven't had the pleasure of seeing you around the last couple of days. No, Phoebe, and you know why, so let's not bring up the subject. It's a pretty sore one with me. Oh, I wasn't going to, Mr. Gildersleeve. You uh, care to read a comic book? I got an old one around here someplace. <laughs> no, thanks. Can you imagine the audacity of that mayor? Uh, very well, then, I'll read it to you. Well, he's not going to get away with it. Uh, this is about little Abner. I've decided I'm not going to take this sitting down. No, sir. That little Abner is holding Salome. That's the pig. And he says... And yeah, the next time I see that little powder pigeon... Go ahead and eat the money, Salome. He's going to hear from me. And Salome, that's the pig, says, erp, erp. <laughs> what? Erp, erp. <laughs> What are you doing? Reading you your comic book. <laughs> what for? To cheer you up. Oh. And then Mr. Fatback says... You look, Peavy, if you think I'm unhappy because I'm not water commissioner anymore, you're mistaken. I... Good afternoon, Peavy. Well, hello, John. And Gilda. I didn't expect to see you here. How are you, old friend? No, I'm fine. And don't you try to cheer me up too, Horace. Oh? I came to pick up the signatures you've collected, Peavy. Yeah, well, here they are. My, a lot of names. You did well. <laughs> what is this? Floyd was collecting signatures, and now you are. And, Peavy, you know who has heard about you know what, and he's plenty worried. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Well, thank you, Peavy. See you around, Gilda. Peavy, what's going on here? What are you fellows up to? Well, uh... out with it, Peavy. Well, uh, about the mayor. Yeah, the next time I see that little Napoleon, the sparks are going to fly. Uh-oh, speak of the devil. Well, hello, Gildersleeve. Huh? Hmm? Yeah, I mean, uh, hello, Twilliger. I've been looking all over for you. Yeah, well, I've been looking for you, too. I think I'll go look for something in the back room. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, Peavy. I want you to hear this. Twilliger? I've taken all I'm going to take from you, and I'm here to uh, say... I, I wonder if you gentlemen would mind stepping back from the showcase. <laughs> Gildersleeve, before you say anything, I've come to offer your job back. My job? Well, that's not fair. I was about to tell you off. What? 
But I do have a little family to think of. I accept. Fine. As mayor of Summerfield, I now officially reinstate you as water commissioner. Water commissioner. We'll let bygones be bygones. But, Commissioner Gildersleeve, the next time I catch you reading pulp magazines during office hours... Oh! I wasn't reading magazines that time. Now, I can't work for an unreasonable tyrant like you. I resign. I quit. Quit? Oh, now, now, wait a minute, Mr. Gildersleeve. Commissioner Gildersleeve, you can't quit. Why can't I? I just did. You don't want me to lose my job, too, do you? What's that? Well, uh, uh, this is embarrassing for me, Gildersleeve, but it seems a silly petition for recalling the mayor is being circulated around by some, uh, some, uh... Um, Public-spirited citizen. Public-spirited citizen. <laughs> Public-spirited! You didn't sign it, did you, Mr. Peavy? No, no, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> a recall petition, you say, Mayor? Well, in that case... I accept my job back again. Oh, well, fine, Gildersleeve. Yeah, now, since you don't dare fire me, there are a few things I've been saving up to tell you, shorty. Oh? Uh... In the first place, you let me run the water department and stop snooping around my office. Get that straight. Now, Commissioner... And in the second place, I want my salary boosted up to what you pay your relatives. You understand? Now, now, Commissioner... Remember, Twilliger, you're not so big, you just comb your hair high. <laughs> Well, this is fun. And another thing, Pipscreek, if you ever saw... Great Gildersleeve will be with us again in just 30 seconds. Making a fresh fruit salad, to be sure your fruit tastes its best, take it out of the refrigerator a little early so that it's cold but not too cold. Another way to make sure that salad will be delicious is to use Miracle Whip salad dressing. Miracle Whip has a simply wonderful flavor, a special, lively, teasing, peppy flavor that no other salad dressing has. Make all your salads extra good with the salad dressing millions prefer, the one and only Miracle Whip. This is Gildersleeve again, folks. I thought you'd like to know the mayor gave me that raise. And you want to know what I'm going to do with it? I'm going to buy United States saving bonds. One a month. That way, the money is perfectly safe and drawing good interest. You can buy them where you work, through the payroll savings plan, or at the bank on the bond a month plan. It gives a person a fine feeling of security. And someday, I'll probably need that, because I may tell off that mayor once too often. <laughs> good night, folks. is played by Willard Waterman. The show is written by John Elliott and Andy White. Included in the cast are Walter Tetley, Lillian Randolph, Stan Farrar, Earl Ross, Dick LeGrand, Viola Vaughn, and Arthur Hugh Bryan. Musical compositions by Jack Meeker. This is John Easton saying goodnight for the Kraft Foods Company, makers of the famous line of Kraft quality food products. Be sure to listen in next week and every week throughout the summer for the further adventures of the great Gildersleeve. How good can a sandwich be? Well, just make it with Miracle Sandwich Spread and see. Miracle Sandwich Spread is made by Kraft. From America's favorite salad dressing, the one and only Miracle Whip, and some very special spicy relishes. It's different and, mmm, delicious. Try it. Use it with your favorite sandwich filler or just by itself between slices of bread. Tomorrow, stop at your grocer's and bring home a jar of Miracle Sandwich Spread. Enjoy the best of Groucho on NBC.